let's take a break from nonstop pandemic news to talk about some actually fun science news. Uh, we're all cooped up at home, sheltering in place, not able to go anywhere, or do anything new or anything fun. So it's important to take a look around and realize that things aren't so bad. So let's see what this is all about. Uh, researchers, it turns out, have discovered the key to happiness. And uh, let's see here. It looks like the key to happiness is new and diverse experiences going to novel places and having a wider array of experiences well shit okay no i'm just kidding uh first of all this is correlation not causation second of all it's not the key to happiness uh let's take a deeper dive into this study this research uh was pre-pandemic but was just published in the journal nature neuroscience in it, uh, researchers, uh, psychologists at NYU and Miami University tracked subjects via GPS as they lived and wandered around New York and Miami, of course, uh, for several months. They asked the subjects to check in regularly with updates on their emotional states. They found that people who visited more unique locations in a single day reported more positive emotions on those days than the people who stayed in one place. They then took half of their subjects and tossed them into MRIs, finding that the people who had the strongest link between unique places and happiness also had the most activity in the areas of their brains that process novelty and reward. Okay, so first, here's my everybody calm down, this isn't really a big deal segment of the video. Um, again, this does show correlation, not causation. Maybe people get happier when they seek out novel experiences. Maybe people who are already happier tend to seek out novel experiences instead of staying at home in the fetal position. Maybe it's both. Or maybe people who say, have a lot of money and free time are more likely to be both happy and to seek out novel experiences. This study doesn't try to establish a causal link, which is totally fine. That's work for a future study. Uh, so make sure you don't do the same. Secondly, you know how I feel about MRIs. If you don't, go watch this video. Uh, the TLDW is that everything lights up the reward pathways in your brain. So calm down. I'm not saying MRIs are being misused in this study. I'm just saying that brains are complicated and it's wise not to put too much stock into what any one study says about which parts of whose brains light up. It's interesting, but it's not the final word in anything. Uh, but let's say that going to new places does in general make us happier. Does that mean that we are screwed while we are in quarantine? Uh, the researchers themselves point out that the answer to that is definitely no. Uh, for most people who aren't, say, currently on ventilators, uh, you can always switch up your daily routine. Quarantine doesn't mean that you have to stay inside binging Netflix all day. Go for a walk or a bike ride. Explore parts of your neighborhood that you've never seen before. Seek out any kind of green space because a lot of past research shows that any contact you have with green space can improve your emotional well being. Uh, a UK survey from 2019, for instance, uh, found a strong correlation between happiness, satisfaction with your life, and worth. Uh, and the amount of parks and nature preserves that were just within the vicinity of a person's home, even after they controlled for income. My own anecdotal data uh, lines up with this. When I was looking for a new apartment a few years back, I specifically sought out one where I could see nature outside my windows uh, because I work from home and I know that my mental well-being is greatly improved if I can look up from my computer every now and again and see something that brings me great joy and inner peace. Uh, I also at that time got an emotional support dog, which I talked about in more detail a few years back. Uh, the crux of it is that this little asshole forces me to go outside multiple times a day. Uh, when my depression would at times have me rather just stay inside in the fetal position on the floor. 
Uh, I didn't want to go outside during these depressive states, but once I did, because it's a better alternative than cleaning poop off of my carpet, uh, I felt a little better. And eventually, over the years, I felt a lot better. Uh, and now that quarantine is here, my emotional support asshole is back to doing what he does best, uh, making me go outside when I would prefer to uh, stay in the fetal position in front of Netflix, moving only to confirm that, yes, I am still watching. Speaking of that previous video about my emotional support dog, the point of that video was to talk about a study that showed that walking dogs makes us happier, too. So if quarantine is getting you down and you'd like a change of pace, uh, I recommend a few things that science like this suggests, you know, could help. Uh, go on an adventure. There's a lot more to see around your neighborhood than you might think. Uh, check out Google Maps. See what green space is near you. Uh, walk, bike, skateboard, or drive there and check it out. Uh, pick up a bird identification book for your local area and see how many you can spot. Uh, download the iNaturalist app and take photos of local wildlife and plants and ID them. Uh, you can even check out this video I made a few years back uh, where I explored tidal pools and used iNaturalist for the first time during a Cal Academy bio blitz. It was a lot of fun. Uh, or hell, get a dog. A lot of shelters have managed to find fosters for most of their dogs and cats during shelter in place, but there's still a bunch of very good boys and girls out there looking for their forever person. Use this time stuck at home to get to know a new best friend who you can go on adventures with. And, you know, then you can come home with them and watch Netflix together. Seriously, dogs are the best for that. Uh, if you can't do any of that, maybe it's enough to find a novelty or an adventure in books and TV and films and games. Uh, if you can't do things physically, you might be able to do them mentally. You know, remember, there is no one key to happiness. There's just a whole lot of ways that you can take care of yourself and maybe be a better person today than you were yesterday. Good luck.